When it comes to Linux, the desktop environment is probably the most important thing because that's kind of the look and feel. Uh, it comes with a set of system tools to like change your resolution and other things. So let's actually put these on a tier list. Desktop environments are a little bit weird because most of these teams are only a handful of people. There's almost, uh, some of them are only one person, you know? It just depends on the desktop environment. So instead of your, you know, Windows or Mac OS that has hundreds of people, if not thousands, and tons of quality assurance, you really have these small teams making the GUI that you see in almost every Linux distribution. So let's uh, rank them today. We'll just start, just jump right into it and start with Cinnamon. Cinnamon's actually great for a new user. I'd put it in, you know, a, a lot of people love it, but I put it in a pretty good category. It looks like this on Linux Mint. Uh, the Mint team makes it. Uh, Klim, I think, is one of their lead devs, and he, just amazing uh, tool set. Probably the most polished out of all the desktop environments. The only down thing I'd say about Cinnamon is uh, I don't like, uh, it it's, doesn't have a whole bunch of functions, and, and sometimes I find myself going, ah, I wish it was a little bit more customizable, where you'll find a lot of these other ones are, but at this end of the day, it's very polished, probably the most polished, and I, I love it for new users, that's why I usually recommend Linux Mint. Uh, now, next up's going to be Deepend. Deepend is an interesting one. I haven't used it for like a whole bunch of times, but I, I kind of want to put it in the average to pretty good category almost in between these it does a great job with scaling it looks beautiful like uh, it does a great job so i i do like it for that uh however it is more of an oddball out of these not very many people use deep in but at the same time it is pretty gorgeous and i haven't had any issues with it uh now is elementary um it feels like a bad Mac clone. Uh, it's actually Pantheon is the desktop environment. An elementary OS, I think, is the only one that comes with it built in. There's probably a couple other spins that have elementary for Mac users coming to Linux, uh, if if that is a, actually even a thing. But I, I don't know. Every time I get on Pantheon, I'm like, ooh, this feels dirty and I don't like it. <laughs> and, and that's the Pantheon desktop environment. It's, it's not necessarily bad by anything uh, other than I just don't personally, from my personal opinion, like the look and feel. But then again, I don't like the look and feel of a Mac. So I think if you do, uh, this would score higher in your list. Uh, next up's LXDE. I don't think this is really used anymore. It's deprecated. Uh, I put it average. It's a lightweight desktop environment. It's good, but not really that sexy. <laughs> it's pretty bare bones. And in that same realm, LXQT is uh, uh, the newer version of it, so to speak. Uh, much of the same here. It's great for lightweight. I think it runs on like 100 or 200 megs of memory. Uh, I think LXD is a little bit lighter weight than LXQT, but not by much. They're both very lightweight and uh, great desktop environments. Uh, for minimal systems like netbooks and you know if you want to throw it on a, a, a potato these are usually what you use and then we have budgie uh, budgie's uh, solace i put it in a pretty good category i was always really impressed with this very polished a great uh, desktop environment not one i've really run for any exterior extended period of time but i did find like a lot of its option sets and it's just overall really really good i, I liked it uh, and then we have GNOME. Ugh, GNOME. Some people would put it right here. Like Some people are like GNOME fanatics. I hate GNOME, though. I put it in the dog water category, uh, for my personal opinion. And, and I do that not because of functionality. The functionality is there with GNOME, and it's probably, uh, again, pretty polished. The one downside to GNOME that I see, and where I just can't bring it to put it in any other tier other than dog water, is it just installs extensions through the browser and i hate that that can be exploited there's been a, actually quite a few exploits for gnome and, and using actual extensions through firefox or, or a chromium based browser and you can um exploit it through there and you know a lot of times when you do feature updates to gnome the past extensions then break it's just not a great system i don't like it now if you're a purist and don't need any extensions with gnome and you just love the layout 
by all means, stick with it. It's fine for those purists out there. I just don't like the standard workflow of GNOME and adding extensions with GNOME is ugly. I really wish they'd change it. Uh, this is cute fish OS, never used it. So we're just going to toss it down here. Haven't really even tried it. KDE, you think I would just drop it into the goat. It's probably my favorite desktop environment. However, I got to put it in a pretty good category because there's bugs with it. Uh, you know, there's a lot of functionality here. It's just not quite as polished as I'd say even Budgie or Cinnamon. But man, there's a lot of options. Coming from Windows, it's by far my favorite desktop environment. It feels more like it. You can customize almost anything. It's great. Uh, and I love it. But at the same time, I understand it does have a few flaws, a little little shortcomings that I don't really run it on a, a daily basis anymore. But I did for a long time and I loved it. I had many desktops with KDE. Still love the KDE team. They're just great. Uh, next up's Mate. I'm going to put this in the average realm. It, it It's a little bit lighter weight than KDE or GNOME. Like GNOME and KDE are, are relatively heavy. And Mate is a little bit lighter. It's based on actually GNOME 2.0, but it has that old school feel. So a lot of vets actually really love Mate. And uh, it's not bad. I just put it in the average realm. Next up's Unity. Um, that's just dog water. Uh, <laughs> I think it was deprecated for many years and then out of nowhere, like version seven popped up from the community. Someone picked it up and then resurrected it. So hell yeah, that's awesome. I love to see these old things come back. It was actually developed by Ubuntu and I actually didn't mind it. Uh, I liked it actually better than GNOME back in the day, but, uh, it being not well supported kind of makes me go on. I probably should steer clear of this. However, there is some charm to it. I will admit that. And then XFCE. Um, man, if you if you just install stock XFCE like this, ugh, it's ugly. It's just average. But when you do like a full customization of XFCE, it's pretty nice. I put it in the pretty good tier. This is kind of my desktop environment tier list. Now you might notice I didn't put anything in the top tier. What the hell's going on with that? And, and the reason for that being is there's really no desktop environment that I'm like, this is perfect. This is this is where I want to live for the rest of my life. Uh, there's shortcomings with all of them. And uh, for me, obviously, I'm using DWM here, which means I don't even use a desktop environment with my Linux as is. It's just not something that uh, I found someone with enough polish and I was like, well, I'll just not use it and then just use a window manager like this and then just launch everything with hotkeys and customize and, and change my system around with just the CLI. I'm, I'm totally okay with just pulling up a terminal and uh, flipping over to a new workspace and just doing it all through a window manager. So, you know, maybe, maybe I put some window managers with proper customization in the GOAT category but there's no desktop environment that just really does it for me these days. And that's where I'm going to leave the Linux desktop environment tier list. They're all really fun to do. I, I encourage you to check them all out and you can just install, you know, vanilla Debian and then just install any one of these and they're great. Uh, but again, I, just all of them a little bit lacking. I, I still haven't found that perfect system where I'm uh, just very satisfied. I'm getting close with the more minimal setup I have going on here. But uh, the desktop environment's a great starting point for those coming to Linux. And with that, I'll see you in the next one.